Hi, my name is Michael Favala Goldman. I've translated 16 Danish books, including Dependency, book three of the Copenhagen trilogy by Tove Ditlevsen. I'm here to talk about the Danish novel Fortilse by Pia Grangshang Alosko. Pia has written 10 books, and this is her most popular novel from 2018. At 350 pages, the working title is Unspoken. This epic novel follows a humble Danish farm wife, Ellen, who becomes estranged from her family after being accosted by a Nazi surgeon in her hometown during the German occupation of Denmark. She follows him to Berlin, loses him to the Russian front, and then pregnant, escapes the bombing of Berlin with the surgeon's father, a baron, whom she eventually marries. The book starts with the death of the baron, which causes Ellen to retrace her path back home to Denmark before the war, to uncover the lies and secrets and betrayals she has survived. Unbroken is a broken love story woven around World War II, written in vivid cinematic style, a brilliant account of a woman having the courage to revisit betrayals of the past and reclaim her life narrative. In the excerpt I'm about to read, the family lawyer presents the dead baron's will to Ellen and to her twin sons from Franz the surgeon and to her daughter from her marriage with the baron, Johann. The lawyer presented the distribution of stocks and bonds between Ellen and the children, which were separated into four equal parts, and then 2,500 Deutschmarks for each child. The apartment in Heidelberg fell to Ellen, as well as the family jewelry, a few specified pieces of furniture and paintings, plus a key and code to a safety deposit box in Basel. The twins and Rebecca wondered and asked what was in the box in Basel. The lawyer couldn't answer. He looked at Ellen and then mutely down at the will. Ellen said she didn't know what the bank box contained either. Everyone figured it had to contain some spoils from the war, since that was a subject about which no one ever spoke. Ellen knew the children would confront her after the lawyer left. and There was nothing wrong with that. She did know something. The lawyer peeked over top his glasses, cleared his throat, and continued in a more didactic tone. Since the sequence of inheritance can only proceed through sons, in 1962, Johann von Demmler asked his eldest son, Dr. and Professor Franz von Hauen, previously known as von Demmler, currently residing in Argentina, if he wished to inherit the barony title. In 1963, this eldest son politely refused, conveying to his sons Ludwig and Victor von Demmler title as well as all inheritance. Ellen looked astonished at the lawyer. What was that? The lawyer repeated flatly, In 1963, the youngest son from the first marriage refused. Did Johann communicate with Franz? The older gentleman removed his glasses and looked regretfully at the, wind, at the widow. It has been my duty as fam family attorney to serve the barony to the best of my ability. As good friend of your husband, I have been an intermediary between your son's biological father and your husband from 45 to the present. Ellen got up from her chair and walked over to the desk. But... But that can't be, and behind my back. I am sure it has been in the best interest of all concerned, apologized the lawyer. Ellen looked at him in disbelief. Why? I can't speak of the deceased baron's motives. I have archived the letters which were exchanged. The baron has now at his death conveyed the correspondence to you. The lawyer stuck his hand into the large pocket of his leather portfolio and pulled out a generous stack of yellowing letters. He set them on the desk. With a mixture of confusion and rising anger, Ellen looked at the pile of letters with Franz's handwriting. 
Rebecca went over to her mother and looked reproachfully at the lawyer. The past is never over. It struck Ellen again as she brought her hands up to her face. Dad is alive, shouted Victor triumphantly, smiling at Ludwig. Dad is dead. Rebecca gave her brothers a disappointed look and repeated, Dad is dead. A 40-page sample of this book is available, as well as a chapter summary, and you can contact me at the email listed if you're interested in learning more. Thank you.